Out of the coronavirus in the classroom, school is officially back in session in Southern Arizona as the Omicron variant continues to surge across the country. The question now is how is the district managing to keep everyone safe? News 4 Tucson's Angelique Lazardi is live at TUSD headquarters with an update on what was discussed during tonight's TUSD board meeting. Angelique. Yes, well, good evening, Amanda and Sean. That's right. Current protocols right now for in person learning will remain the same for now. But TUSD governing board members say that they voted three to two to delay in person governing board meetings. They say they will reevaluate that item coming February 22nd. Now, this all comes after the Omicron variant continues to be a concern for the district. Data presented by Dr. Teresa Collins during tonight's meeting shows high community transmission and an expected surge in cases. Dr. Collins says that right now is the time to continue mitigation strategies like wearing a mask. This, of course, is also taking a toll on parents. We spoke with one TUSD parent who decided to keep her child in virtual learning. She says while virtual learning creates some type of stability when it comes to learning during this pandemic, it also comes with its challenges. It's not going to be a, a good month or two for our community. And so um, just based on positivity rates that we see right now, and we still have another week um, as a buffer from our holidays. It makes it very difficult for people to plan. Um, if people don't know that their child's going to be in school or remote, it makes it difficult for child care for working, et cetera. So it's very unstable for the parents. Now, TUSD officials want to remind parents to not send their children to school if they are sick and if other people in the household are sick as well. There are also free COVID tests available for staff and student on TUSD campuses. We're live at TUSD headquarters. I'm Angelique Lazardi, News 4 Tucson. Thank you, Angelique. Governor Doug Ducey announced a new program today dedicated to making sure children and their families have options when it comes to in-person learning should their school shut down. The Open for Learning Recovery Benefit offers up to $7,000 for Arizona Department of Economic Security approved child care, school transportation, online tutoring and tuition. But some county leaders say they're concerned schools will see a surge in cases soon. And so usually what happens is you see it's a two week delay. And so I'm thinking next week, the week after, third week of January, we'll see a big impact. The Pima County Board of Supervisors is working to get more testing and PPE in schools.